guys off grid with Michigan prepared here. Uh, really ain't got a whole lot for you, but uh, this past weekend I went out and I tried uh, tried smoking a swamp donkey, and uh, I'll admit when I'm I've been defeated. So as y'all know, I have this. Uh, truck bed trailer that I converted into like a survival trailer, hunting trailer, whatever. It's not extravagant by no means, but it'll keep you warm, it'll keep you dry, and you can hunt out of it. Well, I was out hunting this past weekend and Saturday afternoon, and I'll post the video up here, and I'll see if I can't edit it to slow it down, but uh, so I had the, you know how some truck toppers, have, they have the windows that slide open and whatnot? Well, I had it slid open and I was kind of hiding behind a little portion of it. You know, if it's half and half on the screen, whatever, I was hiding behind a portion of it uh, because they're tinted and they're kind of like a mirrored finish so the deer can't see me in there. And then I seen the deer come in about 7 o'clock and... Uh, so I, I got the crossbow ready, and through the scope, I could see the glass. Like, I could clearly see the tinted portion and the clear portion when I moved to the side with the crossbow to, to take my shot. And I was zeroed right in on this doe. And then when I pulled the trigger, I thought she was going to go down, and all of a sudden my window exploded. Uh... I still don't know how the hell I did it. I'm an idiot. I messed up. It is what it is. Accidents happen to the best of us. But, so Sunday I went out. I tried uh, to redeem myself, and literally nothing came in, guys. Uh, but the last couple days, I've been getting photos on my trail cam. Uh, they're starting to come back in. So I'm going to head back out again this weekend. And see what I can't get done. It's just a shame that uh, that I messed up as bad as I did. It sucks. I really wanted to take a, a deer this weekend. And the problem is, too, is like I want to take one on a Saturday. Because then I have Saturday night and all of Sunday, you know, to, to let it hang a little bit. To skin it out and quarter it up. But... Sunday, if I if I take one Sunday, then I have to come up with the money to uh, to take it to a processor because I just won't have the time, and I can't let the deer hang all week. It's still too warm outside, um, and the meat will go bad, and that's the whole point of getting a deer is to, you know collect the meat, obviously. So I don't know hunting this year. Is, I I think it's gonna be hell because I got a different schedule. Um, I've only been working, f uh, for, well, I've been working for this company for six years, uh, Ruan right there, the hat, been working for this company for six years. Um, and for the first five years I was hauling milk and the way the schedule worked over there was you would alternate weekend or well days off. So you'd have two off and then you'd have three off. You'd have two off and then you'd have three off. So your schedule is always moving, and it worked out great because most of the time I would have, you know, three days off during the week, which was awesome because I could get stuff done, doctor's appointments, whatever, and I didn't have to take days off from work, you know what I mean? Not only that, but during hunting season, I could go out during the week when everybody else is working. Nobody else is out in the woods, so I had, you know, I could hunt public land, and I didn't have to worry about a guy being in a tree stand uh, 20 yards from me. So this year, this year's kind of sucking. I'm, uh, I'm trying like hell to uh, to adjust my schedule and figure things out. The problem is, guys, is Muske uh, the drive uh, to Muskegon and Rothbury two days a week. That eats up quite a bit of gas, and right now I'm low on funds as it is. So <sighs> I don't know. I'm trying to bring you guys a decent deer hunting video. I had it all recorded. I thought it was going to be an excellent video, guys. And then I pulled the trigger on the crossbow. 
And again, don't give me shit about the crossbow uh, for all you compound bow hunters. I don't care. Uh, my shoulders are bad, guys. I can't pull back a 70-pound draw bow to take the shot that I need to take. Um, sometimes my elbow, it'll get pains in my elbow. Like, I just can't pull nothing. Then it happens in my shoulder. And, and yesterday, just picking my generator up out of the back of my truck because I had to bring that out to the property to, to vacuum up all the glass with my uh, shop vac. I was lifting the generator out of my truck yesterday, and uh, I popped something in my lower back, so now that's hurting like hell. Ugh, age is catching up with me, man. I'm only 43. Mentally, I still feel like I'm in my 20s, but this is this is getting ridiculous. Anyway, guys, um, check out this video. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll try to slow it down. You can see the arrow flying through the air in slow-mo uh if i can't figure it out you guys just go back and go frame by frame you can see the arrow you can see the moment that i pull the trigger because you see this explosion of tinted glass and then you can kind of see the arrow flying through the air and it hits just where the deer stand and the arrow hits just in front of her it deflected obviously because it hit the window so goes go through frame by frame right when that deer drops and takes off back it up a little bit and watch the arrow you can see it fly guys it's it's heartbreaking so i don't know hopefully this weekend um we'll see something i'll get something done um i know where the deer are coming in and uh actually i kind of want to show you guys something I discovered it last week and when I was out hunting, there's a hill right next to where all the deer are coming in at. And it's a pretty tall hill. And what I'm thinking is I can go on top of that hill and I can dig down so I can have a man shelter and I can put a roof over it to keep it from filling with water and, and snow and whatever else. But just put four sticks in the ground with like a metal roof over the top and then I can slide down into that little rabbit hole and I can just lean over the top and scan and i don't think the deer would see me especially with my ghillie suit on so uh i'm thinking about digging into this this hill and and making a deer stand up there if you guys want to see that you let me know um i'm not too gung-ho about doing it just yet especially with it getting colder i don't like the cold very much that's why i'm a lazy bastard and i hunt out of a truck bed trailer uh with a heater in it because well do you see this the gray the gray yeah, well, sun bleach doesn't help, but yeah, the gray. Uh, the bones ain't what they used to be. Um, I used to ride during enduro when I was younger, and uh, my body's a little broke down from that, and that's half the reason I got the shoulder injury, and I just can't. I, I'm thinking before I'm dead, I'm going to have to have shoulder replacement or sho some sort of shoulder surgery. Because I was a little badass on a dirt bike when I was younger. You couldn't get me off that thing. I was jumping dirt roads, clearing vehicles, and probably a lot of stupid shit that I probably shouldn't have been doing. Anyway, guys, check out the video. I love y'all. Hopefully, next weekend, we'll have an actual kill shot video. Um, I've kind of kind of figured out where to set the phone and how to film. and So, hopefully, I can get something done for y'all. I we'll see depends on if they want to come in but with the cold snap it'd be a lot better once the snow hits the ground because they're going to have a hard time finding food but what i'm going to do is i'm going to shovel off the little area and i mean i'm going to put food out for the squirrels which might draw in the deer so we'll we'll see how that goes check out the video i'm going to end it after that video let me know what you guys think i love you all keep your heads on a swivel uh, there's some stuff happening with the war. I'm just waiting to see what's happening, and then I'll bring you guys back for more. Uh, let you know what you should be looking out for. But that, uh, with that being said, again, get stocked up. Keep your heads on a swivel. Love y'all. Off Grid with Michigan Prairie is out. Stay tuned for the video.